All right, this next section we're gonna show you is the very end of the bridge going into the both trade-off guitar solos between Corey and myself into the last chorus, and this is Build to Fall. So the first solo in this song um, just pretty much starts off, it's a, it's a B flat, or I guess you've, minus the, uh, the, the flatness of the, the tuning, but just like B flat, C, D. So when I start the solo off, it goes from like the root note and slides up to the D. And also this, this whole first solo is with a wah, but I don't have a wah with me, so I can't really get the effect. Pretty much if you want the effect from the record, the first half of the thing is just you take the wah and you just put it like kind of half cocked, so you're not really moving it, just gives you like that really kind of like interesting sound, but it starts off with like the slide. And that's the first basic line, and then it just goes, and then the, the wah opens up, and it goes into this like Guthrie Govan type tapping thing. And that's pretty much the, that's the whole first solo. All right, and then the, uh, I guess, third solo in the piece, my second, uh, just goes into this kind of like Japanese scale type fast run, where it's It's the first little lick, and then from there it goes And then the, uh, you know, the little ar arpeggio into like a slide. That's pretty much, uh, that's that, that solo, so. Pretty much uh, just like a D minor shape, and uh, just goes up the, that part, and then you're just going to the D on the, the high E, so you're just doing like a, from the 20 to 22 and back slide after the arpeggio, and then you just go back down the shape again. And then there's like another little melodic at the end of it, but it's pretty just a standard, you know, I guess you would call it maybe a minor nine because it goes to the E, but uh, yeah, so. So for the solo that comes in on Built to Fall, actually the solos on all the records for Mine On In Waves, I really wanted to take what I feel like I was best at as a player. I can do the shreddy stuff. Um, I used to really want to get to the virtuoso level as far as notes come, but I've, I've always been about the song. I've always been about serving the song. So since Corey has really been doing the tasteful shredding on this record, I wanted to go for more of the melodic solos. I, I don't know exactly who my inspiration was with these kinds of solos, but I've always really dug solos that are more about the, the simpler notes that happen, because I feel like they say more. But um, just like Corey said, there's some kind of like Japanese thing going on there. I have the same thing, probably because I'm Japanese. Um, and the solo is like very melodic, very easy. <laughs> That's the first solo, very self-explanatory. The second solo comes in with the old-fashioned uh, dad metal riff. Tighter. And there it is. And a big thing with doing riffs like bends, like you really want to make sure you mute the other strings very hard. I push down pretty hard while I do those. Get that clean sound.